So this video is about a list of the things which I no longer buy. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. First of all, I would like to thank you to return to my channel and to click onto this video if you are currently one of my subscribers. And if you are one of my new viewer, I would appreciate if you will take just a few seconds to subscribe to my channel. So this video is about a list of the things which I no longer buy. By no means I am trying to say that I am a minimalist. There are 10 to 15 uh, items which I no longer buy which are makeup related. I am wearing a full face of makeup. That doesn't mean that I am trying to say that I don't like makeup or I don't shop for makeup. That is not that thing. I'm just going to share uh, the things which I think uh, is a waste of money like for me but for some of you guys might be still like a necessity or something the main purpose to film this video is just to share with you guys the things which i uh, no longer buy and what is the reason behind this so let's get started so the very first thing which i don't buy anymore are body lotions and body butters it has been i guess a year not very long but i have a uh, switched to uh, just oil which is like coconut oil and olive oil these are the two oils which I use to moisturize my skin the second thing which I have stopped buying are body washes every month I used to uh, purchase and buy a big bottle of like body wash separate for like myself and a separate body wash uh, for my kid but now we just use like bar soap i think it works the same way it cleanses the body and it's quite cheap as well so number three on my list is micellar water i have never ever used micellar water in my life there was so much hype like four to five or six years back of uh, bioderma if i'm not wrong the brand bioderma uh, micellar water that was so much hyped up i have never bought that i have never used so uh, to me that's a total waste of money and i don't think that uh, serves the purpose or to remove the makeup i think the best way to remove the makeup is first to break down all the products like with an oil uh, or like with the oily base and then to just cleanse it nicely so number four on my list are the makeup wipes i did use makeup wipes uh, like in the past but i no longer use them i think makeup wipes to remove makeup is a very harsh method and uh the only thing i use to remove my makeup is coconut oil so number five on my list are the cleansing balms there are so many cleansing balms which are like so much hyped up i don't want to take any names or anything just to remove the makeup i have never owned a balm like that way i just use my coconut oil as mentioned before to break my makeup and to remove my makeup number six on my list is eye cream i have used eye creams in the past and uh, my last purchase of eye cream was uh the lancomes one the black the small black jar with like a silver cap and what happened with me is that i did not feel i had really bad dark circles and i did not feel any difference with that and i did notice after using that eye cream i did uh, uh some small small blisters which is like melia if i'm not wrong correct me in the comments down below i really don't know like what is the correct word for that thing that form so that was the last eye cream that i purchased after that i have never bought an eye cream because i totally think eye cream is useless so number seven on my list are the highlighters uh i do own a lot of highlighters like uh, less than 10 and more than 5 but I think the highlighters which I own I can use for the rest of my life and I don't need to buy any more I do love makeup and I will keep on using it but things I have what I think which are like enough for me I will manage with that 
I will not say that I have never gone to a salon to avail those services but frequently I will not go like every month or every other month or after every six months to do the eyebrows to do uh, to get a haircut or get a trimming or to do a facial or to get a facial or anything like that way I do all these things on my own and I don't avail those services so number nine on my list are cotton pads I used to buy a lot of cotton pads to remove the makeup and the solution what I found is this one if you can see the, this is uh, just a flannel piece what I found which was very 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 cheap and uh, it was like a serviette size sized cloth which I have cut and and I have sewed and I do have like four to five of these and when I want to remove my makeup I just cleanse my uh, face with oil and I just remove it I will wash it and just throw it in my washing machine and I can reuse it so number 10 on my list are day and night creams I do use moisturizers I do buy it and I will keep on buying it uh, but I don't buy but I don't buy the sets like there are there will be two creams day cream and night cream I don't buy those specific sets I did bought it like in the past like couple of times once it was Olay and once it was L'Oreal and um, there was not like much of a difference in a day cream you will find uh, like SPF 15 and in the night cream like it will be a like a thicker version so i didn't find any difference in mine that set i just buy a simple moisturizer the moisturizer what i'm using is just nivea soft cream and i'm quite happy with that so number 11 on my list which we have stopped buying or stopped purchasing uh, is the dish tv which is tv subscription for so many years we have paid a monthly to watch TV, to watch all those ads, to sit at specific time, uh, to watch a program, but uh, we no longer have it, and we are not paying it like monthly. We do watch TV. I will not say we are. We don't have a TV, or we are not watching. We don't watch movies. We do love to watch a movie or so. We do have Netflix, which is I think far more cheaper than having a TV subscription. So number twelve. On my list is home decor I do use to shop for decor for the house like for arranging and all but uh, as the years have passed I have changed my liking is changed I don't like the concept of like filling all the corners in the house filling all the walls in the house that on every wall there should be something or like in every corner there should be an ornament I do like uh, lamps like standing lamps in the house and uh, I do like to invest in them but small small trinkets and uh, decor pieces I really hate I really hate now they just will collect a lot of dust and there is extra work for me to do so I no longer buy that so number 13 on my list is upgrade in appliances we don't spend money just to upgrade the appliance like a certain XYZ thing is old in our kitchen uh, so we should upgrade it. No, we don't do that unless a thing is, unless a certain appliance is broken then we will go and buy it. Otherwise, uh, we will keep on using it. Number 14 on my list are the kitchen gadgets. I hate most of the kitchen gadgets i do own a few kitchen gadgets and i think i must make a video on kitchen gadgets which are like only essential and you don't have to spend a lot of money to buy each and everything to buy an egg slicer to buy an apple slicer a watermelon slicer uh, a bean peeler to scoop out avocado there are so many weird things in the market though that i think just will fill up the space in your kitchen so i hate those gadgets having a good knife and a few kitchen gadgets will do the work for you we do cook at home i do a lot of baking also and i can show you guys and prove you guys with the only few kitchen gadgets how you can manage 
so number 15 on my list is fast fashion jewelry i used to shop a lot of jewelry from forever 21 and uh, all those fast fashion things but it has been i think years three to four years that i don't buy those things so i don't buy jewelry anymore so number 16 on my list is shoes I will not say that I'm not buying shoes, but I am not uh, crazy like before. Uh, I do enjoy a flat uh, canvas shoes which are really comfortable. So I do find it really comfortable to walk and whenever I have worn like once a year heels, I have found it so painful and if I'm buying shoes, I will always prefer to buy a flat uh, pair which is like really comfortable i don't uh i will not invest in a very high heels or like pair of heels which are uncomfortable to walk and when you have kids you have to run and do things like in a hurry so those shoes are not ideal for that my number 17 on my list are the books and magazines i don't own any book in my house except for my son like he have a lot of stories and all but for myself i don't buy books uh, rather than uh, reading a book, I like to read uh, blogs on uh, the laptop or on the phone. Uh, just going on Google and reading something, I do prefer that. And I guess if you really want a book, you can borrow it. Like if there are libraries, like there is a convenience in each and every country where uh, there is a facility of library. I, I think uh, if you are really into reading, availing those facilities will be the best rather than investing in buying books and then storing them and holding them so number 18 on my list is the stuff from bath and body works i guess i must say like i am guilty or i have bought or i have spent or i have wasted i don't know what to say but i have bought their body mist i have bought their hand washes hand gels I have bought their shower gels, I have bought their candles and I have bought their uh, hand sanitizers which I am still buying. But now I no longer buy their candles, their body mist, their shower gels and their what do you call hand washes. I think their body mists are just a total fail for me. The fragrance will last only for 10 minutes and that's so annoying for me so i have decided like not to buy and i no longer buy that uh, so number 19 on my list is clothes softener which i was like crazy about i never used to wash clothes without a fabric softener now i no longer buy it and i don't feel of buying it because i don't feel any difference in the clothes uh, number 20 on my list are the sheet masks uh, there was a trend where sheet masks were so hyped up i think still they are and in the past i have also used like several types several different types and several different brands of face uh, sheet masks and i feel like the concept of using a sheet mask to me is that like if you want to lose weight and if you want to start your exercise routine and you are going to the gym only for once and you are expecting the results so you are not going to get the results so similar is the case with the sheet mask after using it once i don't think you will see you will see the difference like in your face in your skin the results it's just like total nonsense and uh, i no longer buy it so number 21 on my list are the diffusers diffusers are those sticks which you insert and just keep in the room like for the fragrance and all i don't know i don't longer buy that in my whole life i think i only have bought those diffusers for like two or three times i was never into that and i no longer spend money on that Number 22nd on my list are the app purchases. I have never purchased any app and I will never purchase in the future as well. Number 23 on my list are the CDs and DVDs. Uh, I only have two DVDs at home, which is one is uh, I think um, the video, the DVD for 
my wedding and the other one is my child's performance first performance when he was in um, kindergarten in the play group so only those two dvds i have i don't i have never bought a movie or i have never bought any educational thing to teach my child in a dvd i will never buy so number 24 on my list are the new makeup releases there were times like i used to go crazy like when a new mac a collection used to come i used to go crazy and i used to go which things i want which things i don't want like as a collector i no longer do that number 25 on my list are buying multiples on sale that is a thing uh, which i'm trying to control which is still difficult for me to resist but uh, that is like you can say a work in progress but sales is a thing which i have a very clear a picture in my head in sales you will get that stuff which is not selling which is like outdated and uh, we as consumers we think like we are getting something 60% uh, off or 50% off or 70% off sometimes 80% off so it's a good deal and you must buy and keep it and use it later on that has improved a lot and I am still working on that so number 26 on my list are the services of nail salon I have never ever avail the services of a nail salon in my life and uh, if i want to paint my nails i will paint it by myself and i don't uh, feel the need to go to a salon to do that stuff so number 27 on my list is another fast fashion related thing uh buying different scarves and bills where in the past i used to buy uh purchase like different kinds of bills you should have to have a thin belt like a thick belt so I don't do that. I do own like several bills, but I don't buy it anymore. This video is getting really long. I will just try to wrap it up really fast. So number 28 on my list is bedding. Like seasonal bedding. If Christmas is coming to buy all that Christmas stuff, I don't do that. I don't invest in those things. Number 29 on my list are the mugs. Certain people have like the habit to collect mugs like for different occasions like for their horoscope and all. I, we don't do that. I don't have like a huge collection of mugs. We just own like 3-4 mugs and we are using that. And once they will break then I will buy the new ones. So number 30 and the last and final one is uh, alcohol, juices and sodas. Um, we don't uh, spend on alcohol and uh, I don't drink sodas and I don't drink uh, bottled juices as well. I do make smoothies at home um, but we don't, uh, I don't enjoy juices and sodas but if some like guests and all are coming we only buy for that purpose but for our like for us to consume those things we don't buy it. So these were the 30 things which I don't buy or certain things I have mentioned in the list which I am uh, improving or like still working on like I told like buying multiple things on the sale. I really wanted to film this video and share with you guys what are the things in your life on which you can save, on which you can consume less. Uh, sometimes we just buy, it happens with me also, we just buy unintentionally and uh, that thing will just sit in your house sometimes like we forget to use it it happens most of the times with clothes i do have clothes in my uh, closet which i have never uh, worn also so i have to work on those things so that is like the next thing which is a bit difficult for any of us this video is not on minimalism and i'm not claiming any of that i have just shared uh, the list of the things which I no longer buy or which I have stopped buying uh, I of, because I think those are not uh, giving me any purpose or any benefit so those were my thoughts on this video and if you have any questions or like uh, your point of view if you want if you want to share your point of view on this video or on this topic feel free to comment down below and uh, let me know your tips and tricks like how to resist and how to control on clothing because that is 
a big section or a big topic or a big thing which I really want to work so I hope that you would have found this video informative or inspirational or beneficial and if you did please comment down below like this video if you really think it did something it did inspire you or you felt it was like uh, it can help you in something and if you're not one of my subscribers yet please do subscribe it will help me a lot throughout my journey take very good care of yourselves bye